I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to learn that all four of them habitually smoke marijuana cigarettes. Reefers. Dude. Ever thought about, like, what or where to buy this? No. But Daniel Dennett has. What's a Daniel Dennett? He's like... It's a philosophizer or something like that. A philosophizer? Yeah. Well, what did he say? Who? Oh, Dennett? Well, he believes your mind is like in your brain, man. Like, he wrote this whole big story about it. What's the story about? What? What's? Oh, the story. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> wow. This dude is, like, recruited by the Army or the Navy or something to, like, go after a bomb or something in a hole. But, like, the hole is all radioactive and shit. So these scientist guys are all like, dude, we're going to take your brain out and stuff. But get this. We're going to attach radio thingies to your nerves so you can, like, control your body. So it can, like, go down in the hole without, like, breaking your brain. So... His brain is like in this vat of goo, and he's and then it's checking it out, and he's like, "Whoa, that's my brain in there." But why do my like thoughts and stuff still feel like they're coming from my head and stuff? Yeah, man. Like, wouldn't he feel like he's in the vat if his mind is in the brain? Well, that's the crazy part, dude. Then it says your brain, like, makes it seem like your mind is in your body because of all your senses and stuff. Whoa, man. Yeah, man. But it gets way sweeter, trust me. So, like, the body goes down the hole and, like, dies or something. And his point of view instantly changes to the brain. And he can't feel anything. He's, like, all alone with no senses and stuff in the back seat. Damn. Yeah. So, the scientist guys find him another body. Well, where'd they get the body from, dude? Oh, I don't know. Probably some homeless guy or something. Uh, alright. So, like, when he wakes up in his new body and stuff, he goes down to the super secret laboratory and, like, switches off the connections from the brain. And, like, guess what happens, man? What happens, dude? Nothing. <laughs> Wait, what? So, like, the scientists made, like, a computer program. It's like Skynet or something crazy like that. But it's like a perfect copy of Dennett's brain and mind and stuff. No way. Way. And now he has, like, two minds and can, like, switch between the two. But when he's not using one mind, the other is, like, chilling all by itself, like, solitary confinement or something. That stinks, dude. The other one must get all lonely and stuff. Yeah, it does. So, like, how does he know which one is turned on? That's the crazy part, man. He loses track and stuff and doesn't know which one is on. Whoa. Yeah. So... Like, what does he do? He switches between the two, like, ever so often, like, every two weeks or so, he switches back to the other one. Oh, alright. So, like, his body doesn't control, like, any part of who he is or something. Yeah, man. So, like, which one is Dennett? The brain or the computer? I don't know, man. They're, like, the same and stuff. But... One's a computer, and the other's a brain. I think the real one's the brain, man. But, like, he's the same dude no matter which one is turned on. So, like, what's the difference, you know? I guess so, man. Are you guys talking about the Dennett article? Yeah. Isn't that kind of like physicalism, right? Physical what? Yeah, some philosophers believe that the mind is governed by the laws of physics and chemistry, just like everything else in the universe. But, like, the mind is different. It's not, like, an actual thing. Like, I could smash Joe's head in right now, 
and take his brain out and hold it. But I wouldn't really be holding his mind, you know? Well, yeah. No one really knows what comprises the mind. Other philosophers believe that the mind does not adhere to the laws of physics, while the body does. They're called dualists. Whoa. But Dennett thinks that's bullshit. Oh. You're so smart. So that's why we keep you around. Yeah. The end. Yeah.